my friend what's going on kata here on a beautiful beautiful day my friend today is monday who doesn't like monday but anyway guys i'm shooting this video today i want to talk about something that um a lot of people don't talk about you know this is going to be a tip for you who's marketing your business the really really powerful stuff the reason i had another video i was going to make this morning but i spoke with one of my coaching student right and they say hey kato you know what you made a video i had a um I actually not a video i did a webinar about a couple couple of weeks ago and i spoke a lot about you know cell psychology and you know he came to me and said hey kato you know what i get the technical stuff you know i get the the stuff that everybody talks about you know the funnels you know the traffic the conversion and all that stuff but you know i i want more cell psychology i want to understand my prospect because you speak on that a lot see Guys, I want you to understand something. You know, when I came online, the definition that I got of a marketer, well, I would say ever since I was being brought up, right? Ever since I was born, I always knew a marketer. Let me, let me go, I'm gonna show you something that will make a big difference, right? Mindset of, of how you see things and understanding your prospect. How is that gonna allow you not only to make more sales, but it's gonna help you big time inside of your business. So take this step big time. I'm gonna keep this video short, but I'm gonna keep it really, really powerful. So stay tuned and watching. See, when I was brought up, the definition of a marketer, I'm gonna put it up on the board, right? A marketer, a marketer was someone someone who sells to people you know whenever a marketer will call on the phone my parents wouldn't pick up the phone or your surrounding or anybody that you used to they won't pick up the phone right because they know they're gonna be sold right so a marketer my definition was someone who sells to people someone who sells to people right Again, when I come on the internet, the same thing. It was the same definition. Whether you have a business right now, you might come into it, and, and all you're trying to do is get the money, right? You're trying to recruit people. You're trying to get people to get inside of your business so that you can grow your income and grow your team. And all that's great. That's perfect. That's the main ultimate goal that you want to have. But what I want to share with you, when I understand that, when I understand people with self psychology, we're going to speak about a little bit. When I understand people, it makes it a lot easier to understand what I do as a marketer, what's my definition, what's my goal in the marketplace? See, a marketer is someone who finds, let me give you my definition, right? As a marketer, what you want to be is someone who finds what people need. and give it to them and give it to them see a marketer is someone who finds what people need and gives it to them see what i mean by give it to them i don't mean that you always have to give it for free right it's not a free world but when you understand what people need let's say for example right um, there's a lot of people in my inbox you know promoting the new deal telling me hey cater you need to join this new company new deal new tools whatever you don't know what I need, right? I wake up this morning, maybe you're watching this video. Do you know what I need? No, you probably don't know, and I probably don't know what you need. But there's a way for me to find out what you need. How do you find out what I need if you wanted to know what I need, right? You would ask me questions. It's just that simple. By asking questions, you will find out what I need. Now there's what's called, you know, um, potential need of almost 95% of people, you know, the big mass need. So when you can tap into that, you can get into the mass what does the mass need, then you can provide your service to the masses because you know what they need, right? So, for example, you come to my house this morning, right? And let's say I didn't have an iron. I'm going to show you how easy it would be for you to sell your product or sell your services for people that needs them instead of trying to get people to just buy them. Who doesn't need it? Who probably don't even need your service, right? So you come to my house, you find out I don't have an iron. And you go to Walmart, you go to, I don't know, Publix, BJ's, wherever they sell them, and you grab an iron and you come here and you say, hey, Kato, here's an iron. What do you think is going to happen? Would I need it? Yeah, because I need to iron my clothes, because I need an iron. So it's totally different. See, people buy for two reasons and two reasons only, right? When I learned that, that really opened my eyes. I'm going to share that with you. We're going to keep that video short, so I'm going to share that with you real quick, all right? Because we're going to keep that video short. I want you to find massive value in it massive value in this video right all right people buy for two reasons right the need to avoid pain or the loss two reason 
One, the need to avoid pain. Pain or loss. And the second reason is for pleasure. The need for pleasure. All right, see, I'm going to put it up for you. Two reasons. The need to avoid pain or loss. The second reason is the need for pleasure. What I figure out for my own test is that when people buy for pleasure, Sometimes the, the, um, the purchase is not long term, right? But when they buy for need, something they need, right? Sometimes you buy food, it's not because you, you know, you might enjoy this certain types of food that you enjoy, but you will buy food regardless because you need it. That is something that you need. See, when you can tap into the psychology of what people need, regardless of how they feel about it. Whether I feel great, like, you know, I might love Chinese food or I might love certain type of food, but it's not every day that I'm going to eat it. But guess what? I'm going to be eating food every single day because that is what I need. So when you can sell people, right, on what they need versus what they enjoy, right, it doesn't matter. So that makes such a big, big difference, my friend. So this is what I wanted to share with you in this video, guys, you know, how to sell to your prospect, how to be a better marketer, understand what you do, who you are as a marketer. You're not just a salesman. You're not just selling things to people, but you finding out what people need and you help them get what they need. And guess what? At the end, they reward you for it, whatever price that you charge or whatever price your service, your product charges for it. You get paid for that. Guys, that was catered for you today. That's my tip for you for the day. If you find massive value in this video, let me know. Um, click like, share, leave a comment below, let me know how you feel, and I will be sharing more of little good tips like this that you can use inside of your business and take it to the next level. Again, if you have not checked out my product called Marketing Training Buffet, where I have more of this type of training, we're going to go more in depth. Also, if you want to be part of my next webinar, I will have my next webinar very soon. I want you to comment below, and I will let you know the next webinar, and you guys think take part of it. All right, guys, I know this video was a little bit lengthy. I was trying to keep it five minutes long, but again, that was Cater, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Like, share, leave a comment.